so the next option is uh, GPUs. Now I'm just gonna reduce this to something pretty standard. Okay, so let's say let's say to four core, whatever it is. So moving on from a CPU platform, you have the GPUs, and as you can see from our error message we're getting is GPUs may not be supported in every region. So let's select a region like uh, I guess US Central should have some GPUs. And GPUs are offered by G GCP, but they're not the typical G uh, GPUs that you're used to. Let's say if you go ahead and buy a laptop or a gaming machine like your um, your Nvidia's your Nvidia you know GTX series. These are data center approved um, GPUs that Nvidia ends up making, and these come in the form of like the Tesla P100, P100 Virtual Workstation, or whatever it is. So one thing to note about GPUs is that they're pretty expensive. You can already see the price that you get end up paying about $328 a month. That's already more than the CPU combination that you have up here, and obviously certain types of um, GPUs will cost more, right? So if you have you know if you're using a P100 virtual workstation, you it's gonna cost significantly more. Once again, if you have more if you have more than one GPU, you also end up paying a grid fee license that will rack up. So GPUs are good for you know your if you want to do some video editing editing on the cloud or some machine learning analytics, you can select the number of GPUs you want on whatever instance. GPUs are also dependent on the type of the number of cores you have. So um, if you have let's say one core. GPUs are not available. If you have multiple cores, then you can select a broad range of GPUs. So let's see. It'll actually let you know over there. Uh, let's say you have uh, one. Let's say select the P4. And we just increase the number of cores. It says you cannot have no fewer than four. So you have a minimum number, and that's going to boost up your cost. So once again, it's something you have to balance, you have to play with. And uh, yeah, all the best with that. So I'm going to set GPUs to none, and let's actually drop this to something. <clears throat> Let's just drop this to something more uh, reasonable. Let's do, let's go back to basic. Yeah, this seems about right. So one last thing to note about GPUs is that they do not support live migration. So what typically happens when you're using a compute engine um, is Google may schedule some form of maintenance within uh, that may take down your virtual machines for a short period of time. In order, to, in order to ensure uptime, they will restart your instance somewhere else within the same zone. So Google will go ahead and migrate your instance away from that scheduled maintenance zone. So maybe it's a set of uh, VM racks that are going through maintenance. Maybe they're being upgraded, whatever it is. And so Google will move your virtual machine, uh, will pre-schedule it to run somewhere, the, somewhere else within the data center away from that scheduled maintenance zone. Unfortunately, GPUs cannot be live migrated to a different part of the data center. And so if you need workloads that require those GPUs, they'll be down up until that maintenance is done. And Google says, hey, it happens between it's uh, usually weekly, but it could happen more frequently. So that's just one of the disadvantages, I'd say, of using uh, GPUs and GCP. So in a way, you need to architect your applications to ensure that they're fault tolerant and such that when maintenance windows are brought in, your GPUs, your applications can handle the fact that GPUs may not be available for some time. Google will, however, go ahead and restart the GPUs once maintenance over and then and they're now available. By the way, you cannot mine cryptocurrency on GP GCP. That is something that uh, is not allowed by Google. And if they find out you're doing that, they'll probably disable your instance or do something. I'm not sure what the protocol is, but I know that is something that they do not permit.